guys welcome back so this week's movie was the last unicorn and it was actually pretty good um i enjoyed watching it and it basically tells the story of an unicorn that lives in a in a forest and then she hears that she is the last unicorn and then she's concerned that what she what she heard is actually true um therefore she goes on a quest uh to find the other unicorns that are supposedly um captured by some king in a distant uh kingdom so she goes on a quest but on the way she gets captured by a witch uh but then she's liberated by this magician and um also she gets the help from uh molly uh, when they find the red bull that supposedly took the the unicorns to that place, um, she gets turned into a human by the magician. That way the red bull doesn't do the same to her. Um, then they go to the castle and they they talk to the to the king and he he is actually the one who wanted the unicorns. And um, there is a prince, Prince Lear, that falls in love with her. But later on, she turns in, into an unicorn. And obviously, they can't be together. So they have to sacrifice their love uh, to save the other unicorns and to save um, the forest. Elements of myth, um, starting with the unicorn itself. The unicorn is a mystical creature and it symbolizes purity and um in this movie the unicorn protects the forest and here we can see the relationship of mystical creatures with the with nature itself like we saw in uh, movies uh, like uh, princess mononoke that um, the mystical animals were the ones that were protecting the forest from the humans and this is also a theme that we see in this movie uh, we also have the harpy, which is the symbol of death and justice. And the harpy foreshadows that something bad is going to happen, that someone's going to die. And um, in this case, is the witch that captured the unicorn and the harpy itself. And it also symbolizes that the quest is not going to be easy for the, for the unicorn and her friends. So we also have the red bull and... In this case, the red bull symbolizes strength and greed. And the green can symbolize um, King Howard's own greed in wanting the unicorns for himself because it makes him feel happy and younger. These are often uh, creatures that a hero must defeat. That's why in the movie, um, when they're about to liberate the unicorns from the sea, um, Prince Lear uh, says that he is the hero and that he's the one that's gonna um, defeat this creature but it turns out that he couldn't and he gets hurt. We also have the theme of mortality and to King Howard the unicorn symbolizes this immortality he wishes to have. So we also have love versus possession. And to King Howard, the unicorns are no more than a possession. He doesn't love them. He just wants to have them for himself. Um, but we also have um, the love that Princess uh, Lear feels for, for the unicorn. And they have to sacrifice their love because she can be a, a human. She actually needs to turn back into a unicorn. So they need to sacrifice their love um because it's the right thing to do because she needs to go back to what she was um therefore this is a proof of real love to letting go um something you love because it's the right thing to do so for the elements of ritual um when i think of enchantment i think of a place so i would think of an enchanted forest or the enchanted sea for example uh, because it has the unicorns in it. So it has kind of a, a magic, but in a form of a place. Um, magic itself can also be seen. And I will say this is when the magician is actually uh, trying to perform magic. 
and when the unicorn uh, turns into a, into a girl, when he makes uh, Robin Hood appear uh, to the other people. Um, magic can also be seen when the unicorn uses her power of healing. Uh, we have Death and Rebirth. She heals Prince Lear when he gets hurt by the Red Bull. We can also see Death and Rebirth when the unicorn turns into a human, like an incarnation, but then she goes back to her old form. Another element uh, that we can discuss is the element of filmmaking, and I think music plays a, a role in this movie, a very important role, because if you hear the songs and interpret the lyrics, it kind of goes with the actual story, like, um, uh, expressing emotions and feelings of the characters. So overall, I really enjoyed the movie. Um, it was very refreshing. Uh, it was something different. So um, it was a really good movie to analyze and to try to find um, elements of myth and ritual. So uh, this is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and until next time. Bye.